So guys, welcome back to the test robot automation. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, yeah, so let's begin to our journey of uh, Playwright with PDD. Okay, so hope you guys have uh, following my last uh, videos and everything. So if you don't have, uh, if if you guys are new here, then please go and check my last video. Okay, so let's try to reduce some of the steps with the session logic over here. So can you see guys, we what we are doing here? Uh, given and navigate to this e-commerce lambda test IEO. So let me just go and fill, fill up particular page over here. Okay. So what we are doing here, uh, and I click on my account and I enter my email address and I enter my password and I click on my button. So this is not a good practice. This is just to showcase you like how we are actually um, validating all the steps. But let's remove uh, all these steps. So one, two, three. Four, four steps we can remove it okay and we can place all these steps into uh, one authentication file okay so let me show you guys how we can set up the authentication file okay so for that what we can do we have to come to a project level okay and we are going to make a new file saying uh, setup uh, or maybe yeah one second auth dot setup dot js okay so this is the file which we can set uh, we, we are going to set up just for a prerequisite guys to define this particular file over here okay right we is just going to copy this one and i'm going to explain you completely thoroughly so don't worry about that one control b okay so guys what we are doing we are using the test as a setup and expect from playwright test we are not using the playwright bdd uh, bdd logic now we are now using the flavor of the playwright with the bdd okay so what i'm doing i'm saying okay const came in auth file and we have to set, uh, make one directory over here on our project level to get this auth file okay and this is a setup authentication synchronize and page this is accepting one expecting one page as a parameter okay and we what we are what we are saying okay avit page dot go to process dot env url okay so we have this environments uh, listed over here so we're gonna we can use any of the environment to log in into into this particular application right and then we can say uh, what we are doing get by role button my uh, my account and we are hovering on that one then saying click on login okay and then this is a locator to fill the email and this is a locator to fill the password which is also we are getting from the environment variables right and uh, what we are doing page or locator input value login and clicking on that particular login button and expect to have this particular url okay so this is a basic uh, auth authentication setup file we have done over here okay so let's do how let's check how we can use this one okay so guys, if you know something about the Playwright documentation over here, okay. So I'm following this particular documentation. So how to set up the uh, authentication file. This is actually a TypeScript file, but uh, we can use it pretty much it is straightforward. We can use it as a JavaScript as well. So if you are using a TypeScript, you can use this straight away. And if you are using a JavaScript, still you can use it. Okay. So that's it. So now what they are saying, how to use this particular file. Okay. So they are saying just to make one particular project saying name as a setup. So let's go to our VS code and on in our config.js file over here under the projects, I have to make a new project saying this is my setup and my setup is coming from this particular file, which is here. Okay. So instead of TS, I need to change it to JS as we are using for the JavaScript for this particular framework. Okay, maybe next upcoming uh, upcoming uh, videos, I will be making one more uh, thing uh, on the TypeScript. Okay, so let's go and what's what next they are saying. They are saying, okay, use this station, store it straight, uh, which is a playwright authentication user JSON. I'm going to copy this one from here and just going to paste it over here. Okay, so I'm just right now following that documentation, but next uh, phase we will see how we can add more logic and how you can use this in our runtime test 
environment okay so this is the beauty of doing this one right now okay and this thing using as a dependency as a setup so that's what so in the use uh, in this particular project i want to use this particular dependency which is a setup dependency okay guys hope you are understanding and if you have any question comment uh, any question or any doubt please comment in the uh, comment me in the comment section i will definitely go and reply you on what we are uh, on whatever is the issue you are facing right okay so let's go back what the, what what next they are saying okay what next they are saying i have to make a one particular folder which is a playwright folder and under the playwright folder i have to make dot auth folder so i'm just going to make this folder over here okay so this is my folder where is my folder gone playwright playwright is here and under this auth okay so basically this particular folder will communicate to my setup so can you see auth file playwright and under that i want this particular file which is a user job json so can you see guys over here we don't have any particular file saying user dot json we are just having dot auth as a folder right and this is await page dot context and we are creating this particular storage state and we are adding this path over here okay hope you guys understood this one so let's give this logic to our change name feature okay so we have to uh, we already got everything so we have to we can reduce all these steps from here so i'm just going to comment it for now and for now what i will do i just want to use this particular uh, scenario so i will put this as uh, only okay so i will be using this only this particular scenario over here cls right let's see now what we have to do next okay so guys before uh, running our steps what we can do uh, what we have to do we have to uh, also set up the test directory as we are actually using this into our playwright bdd uh, bdd framework as uh, this is we have to also set up the test directory because we our test directory is coming from here so actually this will give a logic to this test directory but if you are actually just using the playwright as a uh, as a clean framework is a clean playwright as a library then you don't need this particular test directory you can just give the test match and uh, it should run but we as we are using this with the playwright bdd flavor uh, we have to set this particular as a directory okay so let's go back to our package.json file okay we as we are actually using this uh, any of this environment so that's why we have to get it from this particular environment okay so let's check this qa test environment okay let me just go and uh, run this particular command say npm run qa hyphen test okay so this gonna run very nicely and uh, you will see in a headed mode as well so this is really good feature of the headed mode but i'm not sure if i have given any right debug point so let's see right it failed something okay did the setup authentication it did the setup authentication but it is saying something okay right the test got passed and now it's gonna open the new uh new particular uh, test over here which will be a change name right so let's see in a debug mode as well okay i click on my account click here okay i'm on my account and i'm editing on my account over here can you see guys we're actually editing in our account and we are going to change our first name last name and this should work fine okay actually we haven't done any any add, add anything over the feature file so let's do one thing uh, this time let me just put here my name say pranav and i will put here as a like test rover okay so now once the setup is done let's rerun the test case everything should work fine but yes so let's first do clean up so 
let's see npm run clean okay so what this command will do this command will clean any of our uh, feature.spec file which is auto generated over here so i have given one particular command over here in this partic particular package.json file which is a clean and it will remove all the things under our feature.gen right it's going to remove it with the whole feature.gen file only right okay so let me just do cls now again and run this QA test command so we will see all the changes now right it will rerun that authentic authentication setup it will uh, yes look there are two test cases running now okay we are actually giving in a headed mode so right okay so we are not logging with that feature file we are logging with the authentication setup over here right this is a beauty guys so tomorrow when you uh, you want to log in into any of your application you can build this type of authentication setup okay right and click on edit and click on my first name it will change to pranav right and it will click on my last name it will change to test robot and click on here and you will see the success your account has been successfully updated right so and my test code passed but here can you see we are getting two tests passed one is the authentication setup test case and the other one so do you think uh, it's not a good practice if you are running actually in your local you don't need this authentication setup every time so what we can do we're gonna come here and remove this setup now so we are just going to use that authentication okay so i will remove this dependencies from here as well so I'm just going to remove that uh, everything is removed so i'm just going to use this uh, share and storage right so now if i run again this particular command then you guys can see what will happen it will just invoke one particular test case over here right and it will re-login everything thoroughly it will it, it it will invoke straight up into my account over here okay and our playwright inspector should be here some in a while right so guys look i haven't logged in into this particular application right i'm just using the session storage to get it over there okay as we haven't changed anything so it will just again give the pranav test over automation so it is doing the similar thing it is changing my name to pranav and now it is changing to test over and click click and our test code pass and everything is successfully done okay so now uh, what will be our prerequisite our prerequisite will be uh, let's see how we can use this session storage over here as we are using this session sorry <clears throat> this session storage in this package of json file so instead of using this uh, session storage over here okay what we can do we can come here in our feature.json file feature feature file and make here a one particular uh, background keyword saying uh, set up my authentication something given i set up my authentication okay and we can put all the steps over here and we can use this storage inside our change name steps okay so we can we're gonna give one more step uh, over here and we will do that one right let's look this in our next upcoming video so guys that's it for this video thank you for uh, liking my videos and thank you and if you need any help or anything, please comment in the comment section. Okay, hope you guys are doing well and keep learning. Thank you. Bye.